Breaking news at 6 o'clock. Disturbing details about one mother's death are coming to light, plus new details about the suspect's criminal past that seem to repeat his history. That suspect, 26-year-old Devontae Parks, is in custody for the shooting that happened Saturday on Hind Street here in Augusta. And this is a new mugshot just released by Richmond County deputies. Your Hallie Turner has been looking through some new documents related to this case. And Hallie, some of these details are really disturbing. Yeah, Richard, before I read these graphic details, we do want to warn you it is extremely disturbing. These new documents say Parks and Lang lived in the same household with Lang's two children who were under the age of six. They were both at home at the time of the shooting and were left there alone for hours after. The affidavit said the kids had to crawl and walk through their mom's blood to go get help. And Devontae Parks was recently released early from prison after shooting another woman in 2016. Devontae Parks is no stranger to the legal system. This is his latest mugshot. Saturday, Richmond County deputies charged him with the murder of 27-year-old Laquana Lang. New warrants show around 12 a.m. Saturday morning, Parks shot Lang in the upper torso on Hines Street. Lang leaves behind two children who deputies say helped investigators identify Parks as the shooter. But this isn't the first time Parks has shot someone. This incident report from 2016 says deputies found a woman unresponsive, face down, and covered in blood in the doorway of a Richmond County home. She had been shot in the upper right arm, right thigh, left middle finger, and possibly her genitals. Parks pled guilty to aggravated assault and possession of a firearm. He went to jail in 2016 and two years later was sentenced to 25 years, the first 12 years in confinement and the rest on probation, with credit for two years already served. And this parole certificate shows he was granted early release two months ago after serving eight of those 12 years. Two months later, He's back behind bars, this time facing murder. Now we've reached out to the parole board to see why they believe Parks was eligible for early release. We know the community has a lot of questions and we've requested further documentation on the case to find out. Hallie Turner live in our newsroom there. Hallie, thanks for the follow up on that story.